Hey guys, it's Jonah here, back with another beer review, and um, I was umming and ahhing about which beer I should do today, to be honest. But I opened the box and I saw that I haven't done all of the Hagstravaganza beers. So I thought now would be the time to do that, and I'm going to do one by the White Hag. And it is this beer, it is the Hop Stravaganza. Um, and it's a double, I think it's a double dry hopped uh, hazy IPA, I think. Um, and it's 6.8%. Um, and look at that <laughs> hoppy, hoppy, hoppy profile. Ridiculously hoppy, and it should be, because it's got like ridiculous amount of hops. Um, so Zaka, Strata, Eldorado, and Idaho. And um, yeah, why not do that one? Because it is the White Hag, which I think is pretty damn cool. This one is going to be pretty hoppy, but not, not in a bad way, in a good way. And uh, weirdly, I've seen a lot of people uploading uh, this beer um, as the 2019 version, not the 2022 version. Um, and I think, if I remember rightly, it's slightly uh, different. Anyway, uh, birthday beer is brewed in conjunction with Crosby Hops and Lafran Family Malts. Um, it's a uh, juicy, hazy IPA celebrating eight years of bringing international brewing to uh, the county of Sligo or Sligo. And um, this year, uh, the Hag Stravaganza will take place in August. Um, we have got barley, we've got oats, we've got hops, we've got yeast. We have um, no wheat in this bad boy. 6.8%, come on, and look at that big S on there. Not sure what the S stands for, to be honest. Sligo, Sligo. And there's kind of a, a trippy version of the, the logo here as well. Um, but it, it really, it looks like this section with the big S, Hazy IPA, Shamon. Well, happy Hag Stravaganza to you all. Um, I thought it was September. Maybe it is August, a couple of months ago. Where does the time go? When you're having fun and drinking beers with your loving Uncle Jonah. And if you enjoy watching me drinking beers, why not click like, click subscribe, join the Jonah Nation, and uh, we'll slowly take over the world. Wow, this has been in the fridge, and look, my God. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that head, hang on. Gotta, gotta do one of these ones and stare at the head like a complete loon. That would be a really good uh, <laughs> thing for this beer. I mean, that's four fingers, four candles, four fingers, that's a fist. My God. Of lovely, lovely, fluffy white bubbles there. It's only two months old, which is crazy. Weird, I'm getting grape. I'm getting lychee. Getting light flavours, which is kind of cool. Maybe that is. Is it a Zaka in there? Does it say on the back? Or do I have to get the uh, magazine out? If I have to get the magazine out, I'm not going to bother. But Definitely new world hops. There is some light green kind of danky stuff on the nose. But yeah, the aroma is really, really light, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to tell if there's any lacing on this glass, am I? And uh, yeah, it's obviously hazy as a mofo. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you remember a video I did absolutely ages ago, but I kept a barrel of homebrew for way too long and it was over carbonated for secondary carbonation. And I literally got that much beer and then that much head. Just crazy. Anyway, <laughs> what can you do? from drink.
you can drown your sorrows well. Yeah, that is grapefruit juice with a little pineapple. Goes down lovely and smooth, it's just after. It's one of those things. Sometimes beers, as you drink them, are one thing, and as soon as you swallow, boom, the senses take over. But this one is definitely juicy. Um, very, very juicy. Um, yeah, it's weird. Those sort of lychee and tropical kind of things are, are overtaken by the grapefruitiness and perhaps a little bit of pineapple. And then you do get some very light, subtle flavours right at the end after the juiciness has kind of gone and washed away. You do get some other subtle flavours. Um, but yeah, this one, if you like, if you like grapefruit juice, wow. And that's 6.8%. I couldn't tell how alcoholic it is because it's so like, oh. So there's the juice. Oh, getting that green dankness now in just afterwards. Um, more hedgerow than, than full on dank flavour, but yeah, definitely getting a different kind of taste this time, <laughs> which is good. Wow. I think, I'm not sure if there's any flakings in there, but wouldn't be surprised. No, it's looking pretty devoid of anything apart from kind of yeast and very fine hot particles and that kind of thing. And weirdly, it's nicely balanced too. So although the juiciness and the and, and the basically the grapefruit juice and the pineapple juice kind of a takeover because it's got some residual sweetness there it doesn't taste too bad so it's reasonably well balanced Ooh. well with that amount of head i was gonna burp wasn't i you knew i was and did you know that by putting a beer into the fridge, the liquid has a greater capability for absorbing carbon dioxide into the liquid as suspension. Um, so I'm glad I did, because if you saw the amount of head on there and the carbonation, if that had been a lukewarm can, that would have just exploded everywhere. So uh, I'm glad that didn't happen. Wow, this is a really nice beer. So thank you very much, White Hag. Definitely going to do some more beers from the um, the Hag Stravaganza, even though this beer is called Hop Stravaganza. Um, it is the Hag Stravaganza because it's White Hag. So I think the beer was called that because it's got loads of hops in, um, and it is described as a, a DIPA. I think, even though it doesn't say it on this can. Just says it's a hazy, hazy IPA, um, which is what I will go for. Uh, but other people have described it as a, a double. Um, so it's reasonably strong and a shed load of hops in the dry hopping. Well, after saying there wasn't going to be any lacing, there is a bit. There's a line there, and there's a line there, and then <laughs> the head is still epic. Look at that, that's still like over a finger's head at the bottom of the glass. Anyway, this has been your loving Uncle Jonah. Thank you for joining me with this video on this odyssey over to Ireland. Um, okay, we're a month or so too late, um, but never mind. When you're celebrating with really nice beers like the White Hag beers, I've had a few of them before. They are quite a good brewery, I have to say. Um, and nothing to do with stouts, which everyone thinks Ireland, they think Guinness. 
but there is a lot more going on in Ireland, especially when you're thinking about craft beers and that kind of stuff. And White Hag is definitely, uh, yeah, at the forefront of that kind of uh, craft beer takeover of Ireland. And why not? They've been around nine years. So, shum on to you guys from Ireland. We'll be back tomorrow with another beer review. Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you then.